Hey everyone, this is Josh Orwell here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create a web browser using Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. I'm using Windows 7. Now let's go to Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, that's good. So I've already made a web browser. Let me show you how it works. This is the one I've designed before and just debug it. See, this is how it works. This is Google, Yahoo. Okay, now let me show how I created it. Now, let's go to project. Now, make sure that the highlighted part is on the Visual Basic over here and select the Windows Forms applications and rename the browser. Let us put it as uh, browser YouTube. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, admin browser. You wish to put select the name. Okay, now there opens it. Now, first expand the form. Okay, we we'll resize it later. Uh, then go to the toolbox. And if you cannot see the toolbox to the left, just go to view, go down, and toolbox. Click it. So let's go to the toolbox, scroll down and select the web browser over here. Click it. Now insert it over here in the text box, I mean the form. Now at first the the web browser area will be docked to the form. So to undock it, click over here and undock in parent container. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Okay, now make sure the part which is the sites and the bottom of the web browser area is dark to the form except the upper part because uh, as the viewer can see very clearly so go down and in the containers options click panel and just insert it over here okay that's good uh, so now let's put insert button click over the button over here and insert a button okay the default size I'm using for this web browser is the size of the button is uh, 32 31 okay sorry 35 31 so you can change it according to your uh, according to the style of your web browser I'm using it as the image so I'm using very small size of the button. Now let's insert a couple of buttons. Okay, now let's spread it. We'll arrange it now. Okay, insert one button over here, then one over here, another over here, another one, another one, and like this. Couple more buttons. Okay, and now one over here the go and reload but button okay now now let's uh, insert a text box go down okay there in components you can find text box insert the text box over here okay uh, if you want to size the text box according to your wish just uh, tick the checkbox multi-line okay so you can size it to your style okay that's good now uh, arrange the button okay now let's uh, today in this browser I'm gonna give icons to the button that means images for the button uh, if you want to look make look your web browser more simple you can add text so here go to background image option click over the button over here and over here project resource file import okay now make sure that this part of the uh, file is selected all files so you can see every file over here now this is the back button so I'm gonna put this sorry uh, this as the back picture okay see over there it's correctly 
imported no now the forward button for the forward one uh, let's import uh, this one okay that's good and here for this it is reload button so let's put uh, the reload okay and this one is the go button so let's put um, this as a go button uh, and I d I've downloaded icons from a website called the www dot uh, icon so you can prefer that for your icons now for the close I mean the stop loading the button loading the page web page we'll use this okay now for this we we'll put it Google so when you click on that button uh, you the web page will navigate to google.com okay now for this uh, we'll put it as Facebook uh, that's necessary nowadays most of the people are using Facebook so for this we'll put it YouTube so I'm putting uh, the commonly used websites like YouTube Flickr Google Facebook Twitter and it's your wish to put what kind of thing you like so next Twitter okay then we'll put Yahoo sorry uh, go down and mm, there it is Yahoo open and this we'll put it as Apple apple.com open okay now the settings are ready now let's go for the codes click on the this button okay the back button and uh, tap the code web browser one dot go back and two brackets web browser one dot go back I hope you can see what I'm typing and for the forward button web browser one dot go forward they're having the simple codes and go to this side and for the reload button click over there web browser one dot refresh okay now for the stop reloading uh, button uh, web browser one dot stop that's good and for the go button web browser one dot navigate bracket text box one dot text so this code is that when what will we type in this but uh, text box which is text box one the URL we type and when we press this button it will navigate to the particular URL now for the Google button web browser one dot navigate bracket quotation mark www.google dot com now close the quotation and the bracket and for the Facebook web browser one dot navigate uh, bracket quotation www.facebook.com now for YouTube web browser one dot navigate bracket quotation www.youtube.com okay now for the Twitter web browser one dot navigate bracket quotation www.twitter.com and for Yahoo web browser one dot navigate bracket www.yahoo.com 
that is good now for the apple web browser one dot navigate bracket quotation www.apple.com okay that's good now it's nearly done now for the text box now let's just try debugging it uh, okay sorry I've missed out one thing for for the web browser area click on the web browser area and go down and here here over here URL click there www.google.com so as when you open the uh, when you debug it the home page will be Google you can type any URL as you wish okay see that's what it is and Facebook click over here see Facebook YouTube YouTube Twitter Twitter Yahoo and Apple okay now let's check whether these works back see and forward yeah it works and reload and stop loading it stopped and the problem over here is that the carrot is very small so it is very irritating to look at it so let us increase the size so this one I have found it myself it's very hard to find it uh, in Google I have searched many by it I cannot find it so go to this font click over here and as you know as you increase the size of the font the carrot automatically increases the size of the carrot so let us let's put it as 14 the size of it okay now let's try debugging it yeah that's that's perfect over here okay that's very good dot com and let's check out the go button see it works and that's it that's very simple you can create a web browser in Visual Basic st Visual Studio very easily and thanks for watching this video uh, try this it's very simple bye